Good morning. We're here on Butler's Green Road on the western edge of Haywards Heath. And I'm about to show you around the old Tollgate House, which is in the grounds of Butler's Green House, which is this beautiful Georgian house. This is one of the most important houses in Haywards Heath back in its day. And I just want to give you an idea of the setup here. So you've got the main house, which is divided into apartments. Then you've got a pair of big houses, which the family still own. Um, another little cottage and an old coach house, which is rather lovely. Um, but the house I'm going to show you is Tollgate House. Now this stands on the site, this house we believe was built in the 60s or 70s, and this stands on the site of what would have been the original old Tollgate on the road between Haywards Heath and Cookfield. Um, thankfully, we don't pay tolls, well, not in, not on the old A217 range. But just to give you an idea where we are, we're literally on Butler's Green Road. So go to our west, you can walk to Cookfield High Street in just over a mile and you can walk down into Hayward Heath Town Centre uh, in literally 10 minutes. It's not even, uh, it's just over half a mile. Across the road is Butler's Green. That's the old original green. You can walk through to Bolnor Woods that way. But over the back of us here, you've got uh, Pages Meadow Nature Reserve. And if you literally walk out this gate, 50 yards, turn left, you're in Pages Meadow. So if you're a keen dog walker, over the back of Butler's Green House is the meadow, which joins up with Bluntswood and you can walk through to Cookfield. So it's a rather lovely house. Our clients have been here only a few years. They have done lots to it. So it is rather gorgeous. While we're here, just as you can see, plenty of driveway parking. They've got a detached garage worth of peep in here because you've got tons of storage space up above as well. And then while we're outside, have a quick peep in the garden. I'm here first thing in the morning. Um, uh, this is west facing. So over the back of us here, this is enjoying the lovely sunny aspect. And as you can see, we've got a nice big patio, lovely high wall, plenty to keep most of us busy. These stables are actually all part of Butler's Greenhouse itself. And then come inside. Officially, the original front door was around this side, but the owners, when they did all the refurb, they changed all that and you've got a gate back to the pavement that way. So, come inside. You're in for a treat. So, first things first. In the entrance hall, lots and lots of storage. So cupboards there. You've got a downstairs loo. This has all been redone very, very nicely. Another very useful cupboard there, as you can see, with the washing machine hidden away. And then, really what should be the front of the house is the kitchen. This has been redone, as you can see, really nicely. So they've got these white, I don't know if this is marble or granite, very nice stone worktops, beautifully fitted. A breakfast bar, plenty of room, obviously door out to that little courtyard, that'd be a nice little area for breakfast. And then a very handy larder cupboard. I think every house should come with a cupboard. In this cupboard, in this boxing here, the boiler's hidden away in there, which is easily accessed. And as you can see, you've got these great big tall panel radiators in this part. But when you go in the rest of the house, you'll see we've got the lovely old cast iron types fireplaces. So the living room, big double aspect room. So windows to the front. Love that big bay window over there. You can probably see you've got the original parquet flooring down here and a fireplace with a wood burning stove. So a proper wood burner. And the other lovely thing is they've got this Bosch digital control. So you can do that all from your phone. If you're coming back from holiday, want to whack the heating on, set it from your phone. These are those radiators I'm talking about. They've done it really, really nicely. And this bay window, obviously overlooking the rear garden there. And then upstairs, that is only a two bedroom cottage. However, as you can see, they've got this enormous landing. Look at this. They've got it as a home office. So if you don't need more than two bedrooms, absolutely fine. But with not a lot of effort, I say not a lot of effort. If you turn the staircase around, have them coming around the other way, you could actually make this a separate third bedroom quite easily. Um, like I said, if you imagine the stairs came up there, you could certainly split this off, even if it was only from this door frame across to that other window, you'd have another very nice size third bedroom with the views to the rear. The land over the back is not owned by Butler's Greenhouse. That's actually owned by Denton Homes, 
which are a developer. They've been trying to get planning permission there for years to try and build houses, but they keep getting turned down, mainly because it's in the ground, close to the grounds of a um, grade two listed house. And also it's part of the strategic gap between Haywards Heath and Cookfield. That's the, the only gap between Cookfield and Haywards Heath. So I think the council are keen to maintain it, but worth mentioning. Now bedrooms, two bedrooms here, one overlooking the back and then one looking back to Butler's Green House to the front, the Butler's Green Road to the front. As you can see, great big double wardrobe. They've just got the single bin here, but this is a nice size double bedroom. Front bedroom, they use as the master. Again, double aspects are nice and cheerful. Getting the east facing sun this morning. It's a generous double. Those wardrobes are just freestanding, so they're not included. And then have a look at this bathroom. Who doesn't want a bathroom like this? So we've got it all in here. You've got a huge oversized shower with a waterfall and a handheld shower, a freestanding bath. They've tiled it all the way round to half height. Pretty, pretty little vanity unit, but really, really nicely done. So if you can imagine, everything has been just revamped in the last few years. So the electrics, the heating, obviously decoration, they plastered the ceilings at the looks of it. As you can see, you've got a loft space here. Windows are all new. And the windows are, 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 are special laminated windows. So they are more light, um, more sound deflecting than a normal double glazed unit. But there you go, that's Tollgate House. It's between Hayward Teeth and Cookfield. The railway station is, I think, a point eight of a mile. So that's about a 15 to 20 minute walk easily. Cookfield High Street, as mentioned, is a little bit uh, further. That's about 1.2 miles. And schools wise, you can obviously children from this side of town go to Walden Park Secondary Academy in Cookfield. Um, obviously, secondary, uh, primary schools, you've got several in Hayward Teeth and in Cookfield. But if you want a rather lovely little detached house, with a bit of character that's all been done up with a garage and a sunny west facing rear garden. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart. So if you'd like to have a look, get in touch. Thanks for watching.